Here are two workflows for creating lip sync for your AI movies. I'm currently working on the next episode of my AI series about humanity's future in the cosmos. And this time I actually wanted to have a talking character, a presenter who becomes the protagonist of the film. For this I used a new tool called Sync Labs. And all you have to do is go to their website, upload a video and an audio file and select a model. And I recommend their 1.5 model for the best results. Wait a few seconds and you will have your lip synced video. You can generate 5 minutes of audio per month for free, but unfortunately they recently added a huge watermark to the free version. Welcome to Titan City of Tranquility, humanity's gateway to the stars. So if you have the money and want to generate lots and lots of AI generated lip sync videos, this tool is for you. But for casual users and AI filmmakers, this can become quite expensive. So let me show you my free alternative workflow. You may remember that in one of my older videos I created a pretty complex workflow for this. I used wave to lip which produces really good lip sync for free, but unfortunately with a very poor image quality. To fix this I manually masked out just the mouth and placed it over the original video. Now I had a high resolution video with a poor quality mouth. I then exported it as a PNG sequence, which I ran through Automatic 1111's Extras tab with a mix of GFPGAN and Codeformer on top of it. And both are tools to fix these broken AI faces. Then I had to convert the images back into video sequences and this was my final result. The center of the Earth? That's impossible. Not if we follow his clues. Come on Axel, we have to go to Iceland. Hans Bjelke, he is the toughest hunter on the island. He will be your guide. What does he hunt? Ducks. Excellent, let's go. I was quite happy with the results, but creating these shots took a lot of time because of all these steps. And that's why I simplified and automated the whole workflow. We're still going to use wave to lip as the foundation for our effect. Just use the link in the video description and click on copy to drive, connect, and run the first step, the setup. After about a minute it should be done and you can scroll all the way down to lip sync on your video file. Click on the small play button and then you will be asked for permission to access your files, which you must grant. Now you can click the browse button, go to your folder with your clips and upload the original video. In my case the video was created in Runway. Scroll down to step 3 and do the same thing for your audio file. You can use either mp3 or WAV files. Once it's uploaded, start the last step and after a few seconds you will have your lip synced video. Welcome to Titan City of Tranquility, humanity's gateway to the stars. And now let's actually make it look nice. For that you can download my free ComfyUI workflow from my Patreon page. Drag it into the user interface and simply upload your original video and your lip sync video from wave to lip and run it. This workflow then automatically cleans up the mouth, masks it out and combines it with your Welcome original video Titan in a matter of seconds. Humanity's gateway to the stars. Welcome to Titan City of Tranquility. Humanity's gateway to the stars. When you first import the workflow, make sure to go to the ComfyUI manager and click on install missing custom nodes. Also go to install models and make sure that you have Codeformer, GFPGAN and one of the face detector models installed. Restart ComfyUI and upload your original video up here and your low resolution wave to lip video down here. So here comes the first face restore node which will fix the low resolution face from wave to lip. And it does a pretty good job, but the area around the face is still low resolution and also the rest of the face looks a bit different now. And you might want this because it looks better, but I would like to control it separately. So this next step will automatically mask out the mouth and combine it with the original high resolution image. Finally, I added another face restoration node at the end. And this can help you to tie everything together and fix other parts of the face, like if the eyes look weird in the generated video, but it can also change your face a little bit, so if you don't want that, just disable it. With this workflow, it now takes me no more than two minutes to add lip sync to any type of shot. So I should be able to finish that new short film in no time. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the final film and full workflow video for it. And thank you to my lovely Patreon subscribers who make these videos possible.